All right, another fully loaded 12 terabyte build. This one with different games and a different offering than the typical stuff. You know, these are still coming from out of the country, and so it's, they're really cheap, fully loaded with retro games, AAA PC games, and a lot more. And so in this video, we'll be going through those games. We'll do some gameplay. I played some PSP, some Nintendo Switch, uh, PlayStation 2, Dream, uh, GameCube, Dreamcast, all that fun stuff is all working really well. They're using Retro Bat front end here. That's what you're looking at right now. And so all these systems really well organized. Um, not complete sets, but a, a different offering. Um, it is going to have your Pokemon, your Mario, and everything in between. Um, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, so they give you a 12 terabyte hard drive. You just hook it up to a laptop or PC. And um, you have a couple little prerequisites you have to install. The DirectX update here on the right folder. But other than that, you got Play Night. You'll notice this is Play Night on the screen. And then uh, it says um, Just For You is one of the folders. And inside that will be RetroBat. And you double click that and it gets going. So let's go ahead and start this video off by showing you what PC games are installed because that to me is kind of the biggest collection that's here, but there's a there's just a wide variety of stuff, so let's check it out. All right, so here we are scrolling through the games. And again, you could click, you could do most played, recently played, you can click uh, filter. There's different uh, ways to view the games. There's a list view, a thumbnail view, whatever you want. So um, as you see these games, um, you know, some of them might look familiar. Well, many of them probably look familiar to, to you because they're like really popular franchises. Um, and like Crisis, for example. And, um, you know, I've played about, you know, a dozen or so of them and I haven't had a single issue. Um, it does have some newer games like the, uh, the Far Cry 6, but also, um, the new Last of Us Part 1. It also has the, the Star Wars game from EA, Jedi Hero and uh, a lot more. So this is where I think the majority of the offering are for this particular 12 terabyte hard drive or in these games right here. But like I said, it has everything from Atari to uh, Nintendo Switch as far as consoles as well. So we're gonna get into that in a second. But right now we're looking over all the different PC games and uh, you'll notice there's quite a bit. There's even that new Gardens of the Galaxy game. Um, pretty wild. NBA 2K and so we're going to scroll through all these games uh, in this video when I get to the playing games part I have some footage of the alien game and then uh, the Wolfenstein game as well and then in other videos where they have similar builds like this I've tested many many others of these games I try to test a different game each time um, oh and I even play Street Fighter either five or six I forget which one it is I play that as well no issues whatsoever so you go there you go the new jedi new uh star war star wars game i was gonna say star trek and then there's a street fighter and then um the last of us is right there as well so pretty wild feels like netflix on here and so up next we're gonna get into the consoles so everything from atari to nintendo switch and what's on here You've got 38,264 games here. You have your favorite section, so that's a lot of games. You can make sure you get them in favorites. Um, here's going to be all your different emulators and things like that. If you want to change controls and all that fun stuff, it's just right there for you in the emulation station powered. And let's go ahead and start this off alphabetically ordered. <clears throat> I'm not going to be going into every single game, but uh, first you have GX4000 Amstrad, 25 games. And you can see here, you just have a photo and the information. Um, the videos, you'll notice like all games has a video here on the left and then Amstrad doesn't. So sometimes there's a video, sometimes there's not on the actual system. Final Burn Neo 98 games, these are gonna be arcade games, um, especially a lot of vertical games as well, but Avengers are fun. And I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. There's gonna be so many games. I think a lot of people buying this are gonna want the newer games. Um, so main games 2100. It's going to be all your games, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 to One-on-One -on -one Ice to NBA Jam to Centipede, you know, you name it, all those arcade games you would find from the 80s and then even, you know, newer, uh, not newer, but, you know, early, late 90s, early 2000s uh, would be in here. Um, everything up to, you know, um, Killer Instinct um, around there are going to be in there. 
And so you have 2,000. Atari, so you got pretty much all of them. I'm not going to go into them. Even Jaguar, you have 64 games here. And again, you just see the, the you know all the artworks here, which is kind of cool. You got Raiden, really fun game there. And all your information. Uh, so this is Retrobat, Sufami Turbo, 2,500 games. So, you know, if you don't find yourself in here, uh, it looks like they're mixing in, like, Super Nintendo games here as well and, and et cetera. So, um, you know, you will find some duplicate listings in here. Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan Color, Coley Co, 146 in television, MSX 1, 2, and 3, about 1,200 games there. TurboGrafx 16, 298, Game & Watch 59, Nintendo 2000 games so this means yeah so it's famicom as well um in here as well so japanese titles u.s titles and more um uh, as far as what is this called trick shooting okay um as far as like um you're gonna find all kinds of stuff in here as you can see here batman the video game there's like five different versions um some people say these things are loaded with duplicates etc etc it's not really loaded like you're definitely gonna find some but it's still going to have all the games you want as well. Uh, Game Boy, 1,500 games. And again, you have the Japanese titles in here as well. Um, does it have Pokemon, though? People want to know that. Um, but while we're getting to Pokemon here, I did want to show you that um, right now I'm hitting <clears throat> my upper trigger. It allows me to jump pages. So I'm just going like that. You can also hit select on your controller, I guess, at any point, And then you could jump to a letter. You could select a random game. Uh, you can even, um, you could do all kinds of stuff, filter all kinds of stuff, filter games by tech. We can even type it in P O K. All right. Pokemon blue, gold, red, yellow, uh, are on here. And then you have the other versions as well, red and gold here as well. So you got lots of raw, uh, games to play around with there. Okay, um, so this is Retro Bat, which is cool. You can hit select on your controller like I just did here. You can also hit start on your controller anytime. You can update it. You can change the way it looks. You can change your controllers. You can add a second player, third player, fourth player. It's really easy to use. So Super Nintendo 761. So that's cool that they do have, if you just want English title, SNES games, SNES games, it's all there, right? Super Game Boy 1289. That's going to be ridiculous. What? Super Game Boy. Oh, I have Game Boy Color in here as well. I was like, why is there Game Boy Color? Okay, yeah, so they have it in the same emulator as well. So um, you're going to have all kinds of duplicates in there. Nintendo 64, 461. So again, um, you're going to have some prototype games and then as well as Japanese titles as well. But it will have a most of your U.S. games as well. You are going to have GoldenEye. You are going to have Diddy Kong Racing. You're going to have Mario 64. Um, it's all going to be there. You got, Hey, you Pikachu on there. You have the Pokemon games. It's all there. Game Boy Color 1200. And again, uh, you should have the Pokemon games. You're going to have the Super Mario games as well. Mario Kart, etc. You can always double check as well. You can type it in and we should see the versions for this particular system. There you go. You got the trading card game, pinball, and, uh, you got, the Japanese, it looks like Japanese, Europe versions, and uh, you got French versions as well in there as well. You even have a prototype, Japanese prototype puzzle challenge as well. There you go. Okay, Nintendo GameCube, 75 games, and you can see these ones have video snaps. So these little videos that are playing alongside, that's always nice. So for some of the categories, you're going to have that. So for this particular system, I am going to scroll down because a lot of people like to know what exactly is installed here. These are harder to find, not harder to find, but they're larger files. So it's nice to know uh, what exactly is on here. I played some Super Monkey Ball. Um, I also played some Smash Bros and everything seemed to be working just fine. The controls worked out of the box for me with the Xbox 360 controller. Game Boy Advance 2800. So again, this is going to just be a lot of fluff and stuff. Um, so all the games, Nintendo Wii, only two games, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, um, and then Star Wars, uh, the Clone War, Lego Star Wars, the Clone War. That's not bad. You know, Wii is, I love the Wii. It's one of my favorite systems, but the problem with it is like the controller, like it's, it has a lot of motion controls. So it's bad. I, I, I don't mind that there's not that many Wii games. MSU one. These are, you know, uh, SNES games with, uh, better soundtracks, better audio. They're worth checking out. They're really cool. 
Nintendo Switch, yes. The controversial Nintendo Switch and the reason behind it, um, Tears of Kingdom is is on this one as well. Borderlands Crash. Um, I did load it up. Uh, do note, you know, the emulation on there requires a pretty powerful computer if you want to run it really smoothly. So keep that in mind. Uh, Minecraft Clone, if you want to play Minecraft, it is in ports. I think it's kind of funny that they have a Raspberry Pi for ports. A lot of times this is put on a Raspberry Pi, but they just left the artwork there. A Thomas Wave, so some cool arcade, more arcade to play around with. Um, uh, Dol Metal Gear Metal Slug 6 is really cool. And then Dolphin Blue, let's see if they have Dolphin Blue on here. Is a really fun game as well. Some shooters. Did I see? Yeah, some fighting games. Rumblefish. Oh, so no Dolphin Blue. SG-1000, pretty much all of them. Genesis, all of them, plus Japanese, it looks like. Game Gear, 406, 32X, all of them. Dreamcast, only 50 games here. Um, and you can see some duplicates there. It's not They're not duplicates as much as these were CD-based games, and sometimes there's a CD1, CD2. So that's what you're seeing there. Like Shenmue, yeah, exactly. It has multiple CDs. So you got Soul Calibur. You got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, SNK, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2. So you got kind of the best of definitely missing a lot there. ZX Spectrum. So this is where they really pump up their games, you know, 8,000 games. And, you know, like if you're like me, you never touch those games at all. So they're there. Neo Geo 151. So all of the Neo Geo games. Neo Geo Pocket, Pocket Color, pretty much all of them there. PlayStation, so a small PlayStation set, only 69 games here. So as I go through this um, build, you know, this really is going to have your AAA games. Uh, PC games is really where I think this whole build excels. I'll, I'll, let, I'll probably say that at the end of the video as well. But, um, oh, here you go. You do have quite a bit of PSP and PlayStation 2. So um, I'm in Metal Slug right now because that's what I was playing earlier. Let's go all the way to the top here in A, and then let's work our way down. As we're working our way down, you'll notice we do have video snaps here as well. I don't know why they put Guitar Hero on here and they put so many. I wouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> You have it. Um, you can, you know, you can uh, hook up a guitar to your PC, though. It's just such a niche thing. There's a lot of light gun games on here as well. If you're going to do a light gun, there's a lot of light gun games. So don't get me wrong. You can absolutely use it. Uh, PSP, 97 games. And here you go. As far as what's going to be included there. And you can see these aren't PSP mini games. These are full PSP games. So not bad. So here's the file system. <clears throat> you plug in the hard drive. It appears on your computer like this. Uh, you just want to click the full play night. You have two EXEs there on the main page. Right here, I was just seeing what else they had. You can see the individual games. Um, <clears throat> here's where a lot of the AAA games are are um, kept. Um, back on the home screen, play night is going to play the AAA PC games. And then over here in retro bat, um, or it's called like something for you is the name of the directory or just for you. Um, that's where your retro bat is your, your launcher for retro bat. Um, so you can get into it that way as well. And then there's a readme file and there's a DirectX install and that's about it. So they are sending us a Seagate 12 terabyte enterprise capacity, 3.5, uh, hard drive. And then on the back, you do have this little marking here. You know, I'm not exactly sure, you know, you can look this up. Um, these hard drives tend to work just fine, you know, I, whether they're refurbished or not, I don't know, you know, they work, um, and the price is right. So we're just going to slide that back on, and then you just hook one side up to your computer, and then one in power, flick it on, and then your uh, device should, um, should see it. So I played a couple games on the GameCube, including Super Monkey Ball, as you just heard there, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 on PlayStation 2, and then Street Fighter 5 here. Uh, but unfortunately, the capture card didn't get the video. The video worked perfectly, no drop frames. All those games and consoles were great. So my final thoughts on this build. Uh, one, you can see the performance, it runs really well. You know, just note that if you're running like um, PlayStation 2 or, or even the Nintendo Switch, you need a more powerful computer. The number one question I get on these builds is, do I need a computer? Well, you need something. You need like a mini PC or a laptop or a desktop. The other most common question is, this thing is loaded with, with viruses. You just bought all these viruses. You're crazy. Welcome. You know, everyone just stole everything from you. Okay, um, if you're really concerned, I agree with everyone else that, you know, 
get a computer, remove any kind of network card or Wi-Fi from it, and just use it as a standalone build. There's nothing you need to download. You just plug it in and you can play. Okay, so really that worried, you could do that. Uh, people mention scanning the hard drives. You could do that. It might break some of the games, especially these PC games, because when people, you know, uh, when they hack them, right, there's just sometimes there's uh, files in there that might be a false positive. So, uh, you know, it gets a little complicated. So that's why I said the easy thing is just don't connect, okay? And then um, the other question with being a computer, you know, you can get away playing a lot of these lower emulation games like Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64 on, on a very, very basic $100 computer would probably run, run it just fine. You do want a dedicated graphics card and you get to start like a little bit more advanced 3D gaming uh, around the GameCube or so. Uh, you want something a little bit more powerful. Now, uh, you can hook it up to your TV. You just need to hook it up to a computer first. You know, have a laptop, HDMI to your TV, and then have your controllers hooked up to your laptop. Um, you can use any controller you want, you know, as long as it were, not any controller, but 90% of controllers that are for PC work. Um, Xbox 360s work well. Xbox One works really well. There's a lot of good game store controllers out there. I'll put some links in the description to those. Um, now, as far as this build, I think it's primarily for those looking for the PC games. Those PC games like The Last of Us and the new Star Wars game or that Star Wars game that came out a couple years ago, you know, these games are pretty big downloads. So, you know, that's really where this 12 terabytes is getting sucked up, you know, as far as space. You know, those are, you know, taking up majority of space. If you look at the retro bat part of this video, the retro gaming part, the console part, you know, I, I would guess that it's probably half of the, it's only probably only like three terabytes, not even half, like a third of the space. And the other is all that, those AAA games. So um, keep that in mind, you know, you're paying, you know, it's still, I, I don't know, people complain about price all the time. The fact that you're getting a 12 terabyte hard drive, you know, you are paying for that extra gigabyte, you know, comparing it to a three terabyte, yes, you can get it way cheaper, but you only get three terabytes worth of stuff. But uh, as far as this being a 12 terabyte drive, you know, it's a lot of information that you're buying. So if you don't need, if you don't want the PC games, there are other builds out there. There's a five terabyte build out there. There's a three terabyte, a four terabyte, and they all have different games and different consoles. You know, it's like this particular system, it was missing some consoles and, and quite a bit of the, cata the catalogs within those consoles. And so if that's what you're looking for, there's plenty of videos you can see of mine and, and what they offer. But, uh, that's really what this one seems to be made for, is that play night, playing those PC games. Um, they also mentioned, you know, their FTP and how they'll update and add games over time. I wouldn't get too excited about that. I think there's a, cup, a few, like a handful maybe. It's not it's not that, that many. And um, But it runs. It works. Everything seems to be set up out of the box. Um, what I don't like is the inconsistencies in language, right? You're going to find some stuff in Japanese. You're going to find some stuff in English. You're going to find... Uh, different versions of things um, you know it's going to seem slight, it's slightly disconnected you know like in the file system you know, where you go to get certain stuff um, so it's definitely a little bit uh, thrown together but that tends to be the case with these types of hard drives like this is not on its on its own here um, and then people ask me like where well where can I get the best of the best you know there are some people who sell their personal builds I've done uh, videos on that there's that 32 terabyte build that I did just search that on my channel and then there's the um, the, the biggest one is 96 terabyte from Chris Cool Mod. Um, you know, these people are English speaking from the get go and they put all that, that they really customize and get all the details done, but you're going to pay three to four times more money. And so people always ask me, what's the best? And I always say, well, there's the best and, but you'll pay for it. But then there's the best bang for your dollar. And that's where these kind of lie. Um, that's what I think, you know, um, it, it has its pros and cons. The biggest pros being its budget, it comes fully uh, uh, loaded. The cons being it's a little inconsistent, it's not super ironed out, but it works. Um, and then the other thing being the game collections. You know, they're a little misorganized. Um, they might not have what you're looking for as some game sets are not 100% complete, which is fairly common. Um, and then, you know, the inconsistencies as far as sometimes you can see the information, sometimes you can't, sometimes there's a video, sometimes there's not. You know, it hasn't been um, proofread, if you will, from that perspective. So that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.